Hello everyone and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today we're going to be talking about something that's relatively unknown and still kind of fuzzy, but I understand what they do, so I want to make sure that you guys understand that too. Um, and that's going to be the attack, defense, and health stats on troops. So um, first off, before we go any further, there's nobody that has the formula um, that knows exactly what these numbers translate into or manifest into inside the game from a damage or um, a reduction standpoint. It's just not out there. It's proprietary to the developers. They don't let this formula out. Trust me, I've asked for it, <laughs> and they won't give it to me. Um, and and again, it's it's because if you understand this, you can really start to fine tune uh, exactly what these things do in the game, and you can maybe take advantage of some things. Um, but I do understand what these stats do. Uh, I just nobody knows exactly translation from this number turns into this number because the, the formula is unknown it's it's just theirs so um with that being said i, I do want to go through these different stats it's a question that i get i get asked probably once every other day uh and ever since i started streaming that's basically been the uh the cadence so i wanted to put this information out there so that everybody could understand it and um, maybe take this information and th that way you know why I do the pairings that I do and the talent builds that I do. It's because of this information and um, you'll tend to see uh, pairings and builds on this channel that might not necessarily be out yet uh, because I understand this information. So take this information in and um, you know try to make sense of it yourself and, and figure out exactly how it makes sense for you with what your account, where your account is. Um, growth wise and what kind of you know power and commander settings you guys have so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in let's go ahead and start with attack attack is obviously going to be the damage piece of the three different stats and if we click the actual attack uh, line here it says it's the unit's ability to cause damage um, increase your attack to eliminate your enemies faster that's a very generic <laughs> that's a very generic term but the thing that you need to understand about the attack stat is that not only does this affect your normal and counterattack damage, but it also does in some way affect your uh, skill damage. So your active and your um, passive skill damages are impacted by the attack number. Uh, it's I don't think it's quite as big as the normal and counterattack damage number, but I think it is actually part of that formula. Again, we don't know what that formula is exactly, but I have tested to where I've had a T4, um, with the same commanders, use the use this um, using this this kind of thought process, and the skill damage is lower. If it didn't affect the skill damage, then T3 would cause the same damage skill wise as T5. So, with that being said, it does affect skill damage, it does affect normal attack damage, and it does affect counter attack damage. And again, those two different numbers are in different colors. The normal and counter attack damage is in white. That's the white number that floats above whatever you're attacking's head. And then the red number is the skill damage, and that's what also floats above their head too. Now, the white number is a combination of normal and counterattack damage. That's, that's calculated in the game and presented as one number. Usually you can kind of think of it as 50-50. So if there's a 5,000 white number floating above when you attack something, that usually means you know 2,500 damage from normal attack and 2,500 damage from counterattack. Now, that is augmented by skills of commanders. So for instance, if you have a Charles, for instance, that has a 30% counterattack damage boost, then that number is skewed because it's not 50-50. There's no normal attack boost on Charles, or at least not to that effect. So the numbers are skewed a bit, but just overall, it's generally 50-50 unless there's an augment from a skill that a commander has that you're using. And again, this is probably the easiest stat to understand because it's very basic. There's only one type of thing that you're doing. And um, I will also say that this number is relative based on what you're attacking as well because that's going to go into what we're going to be talking about next, which is defense and health. You have to understand what the attack number is so that you can go and really fully understand the next two. So let's jump into defense. Defense is listed as a unit's ability to resist enemy attacks, increase defense to stay in the fight longer. So what that means, what that mean that should mean to you is this is the the damage mitigation stat. So if I have a hundred 
hit points of damage coming to you from my attack. The higher your defense, the less that 100 damage is. Okay, so for instance, I have that 100 damage coming to you. You've got, I don't know, 110% defense. Whatever that ratio is, and again, this is where the formula would be really, really nice to have between your attack attacking that target and then the defenses, the defense of that target that you're attacking, there's a calculation between those two numbers and then there's, there's a number generated of this percentage of the damage does not get applied. So let's say that that percentage number that's generated from the attack and defense is 15%. That means that only 85 damage will then be inflicted on that enemy. So again, this is the mitigation piece of it. This is the, um, the resistance, if that makes sense. Um, for those of you that have played MMOs, RPGs, that kind of thing, it's the resistance. Defense is the resistance. So having a really high defense, stacking defense is very, very good because again, you're going to have a lot of times where um, you've got a high attack component coming in and mitigating percentages of that target or of that damage is more important than maybe necessarily having um, health, which is what we're about to go into next. Um, let's jump into health because I think once I explain health a little bit better, we can really start to talk about which one you want more of and why that's the case. So we just talked about defense. Let's talk about health. Now, health is your raw hit point number. Knowing what we know about now about attack and defense, increasing your raw hit point number is very, very critical. The percentage of having 10,000 hit points, let's just say, um, let's say uh, you're, you're, you're mitigating 10% of that 10,000. That means that for every um, 100 damage coming in, it's 90, okay? Um, with more hit points, that's more attacks you can take at a time before getting smashed and having your army go back to your city. The combination of your defense and health is what matters. If you stack all of one and not the other, it's not going to have as good of a result as um, having a, a good equal balance just based on the mathematics. So um, for those of you that are Rome, for instance, that have they have a infantry has a 10 percent or a 5 percent uh, defense increase to their infantry stat. Um, that's good. But now you want to also with runes and with buffs and things like that, you want to buff the health. So there's only a few ways to buff health, whether it be with skill of the commander or whether it be with a rune. Um, there are no health um, health uh, buffs, I guess you want to call them, the little buff scrolls. Um, there's only an attack and a defense one. So you want to take advantage of as much health bu buffs as you can because you want to raise your health so that it actually when the the attack damage is coming in and you're mitigating that damage with your defense it's it's exponentially better by having health versus defense because you already have a certain amount of health your return on your gain like your your return on adding more and more defense goes down farther and farther the more defense you have and the less health you have so if you have more health and you have the same amount of defense you're going to be able to take five, six extra attacks versus if you stack that same amount of defense onto what you already have from a health perspective, you might only be able to take an extra two attacks. So I'm, I'm hoping that math is kind of adding up and you understand now that health, because it's so scarce in the game, your health number generally is not going to be anywhere near your defense number. Now here, again, you can see the different technology bonuses. You got 299 this is from technology. The white number is the actual troop stat, and then the green number here is the is the additive stats based on technology from not only your academy, but also the alliance that you're in, uh, their academy. So um, there's not a whole lot of health bonuses compared to the attack and defense right off the bat, you can tell. So the troop is about the same, but once you start using the technologies, it's a pretty big significant difference. This is, uh, two, what was this, 464? Uh, versus 372 so that's already a significant difference and then if you if you factor in um, there's not a whole lot of health bonuses out there there's some civilizations that have some health bonuses but um, for in, for infantry 
Uh, for instance, obviously you've got you've got Rome for Cav. You've got uh, Germany that that has a defense bonus. So most of them are defense bonuses. And then in game, as far as what you can do to pad your stats some more, uh, generally even the Hirons in Lost Kingdom, there's no health Hiron. It's uh, attack and defense. So again, you want to get as many health modifiers as possible uh, in the game. And a good way to do that, besides runes and you know things like that, are um, our equipment. You want to try and find health equipment. That will help you get more tanky, regardless of whatever troop you have. Uh, and then obviously, if it is infantry, it'll be even better because the damage mitigation from the defense stat is just that good. So I hope I've kind of broken this down for you to where you can understand it. It's a very difficult concept um, because, again, you don't know the formula. You can't really show on the screen, hey, okay, so um, because this formula states this, um, you want to have this much health and this much defense. But just through testing and experience and playing this game for a year and a half, um, I've seen in the game, in practice, the more health you tend to have, the more tanky you are. And using those runes of health, so the, the health runes that you find at the guardians and the shrines and all that stuff. Um, and then again, now that the equipment system has been out for quite some time, really stacking up on health is a big, big thing. You're going to see a big difference in the game if you start stacking up one health wherever you can. Um, I don't necessarily think that stacking up one health only for your civilization is going to, to do that much. It's only a 5% buff, and you won't see that big of a difference. But if you stack um, that along with the rune and the equipment, you know, things like that, and then the commanders as well, the skills, um, you'll see that difference, guys. You'll see that difference. It'll be a lot harder for you to to lose um, just from a damage standpoint. Now, of course, if you get swarmed, it doesn't really matter, but you, you understand what I'm saying. So uh, hopefully I've explained this to where you can understand it. Uh, it's a difficult concept, I know, but uh, until you know that stuff gets released eventually, maybe, never, I don't know, um, this is the best we've got to work with. And again, just experience in general and just general testing that I've done, I've noticed that 5% defense isn't always equal to 5% health from a tankiness perspective. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know there's been a couple other videos out there recently like it because people are really trying to figure this out. Um, this is what I know about it. So hopefully it's helped you. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below or hit me up on Discord. I'm always willing to answer questions and help out there too. It, also, if you have not done so, please hit that like button and certainly subscribe to this channel for more information like this and guides and tips and tricks and battles and KBK stuff and all that good stuff. So Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care.